Well, hey, this is Hans coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. How you doing? This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. How about that? Anyways, I've got a cup. This is Bulldog Carbonara from Samyang Foods of South Korea. But this is the one that's the export version for the United States. Uh, fill the line, four minutes. Okay. Remain three tablespoons of water. Mmm. Okay. So, yeah, we'll figure that out. Got this. We got this. The next one's going to be weird. So, as I said in the last episode, the children are in. They're here today. Zip it! And they've been absolutely behaving like a, uh, a couple of little kids. Now they're threatening each other with timeouts and they're yelling a lot. It's just, uh, you know, it kind of goes with the territory. And, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, start. So we got four minutes to complain about the children. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wet and slushy outside. It's warm in here. And, uh, yeah, pretty much. So after the three and a half minutes remaining, we will have the carbo. And that will be fun. What's going on? I, have you noticed that I've reinstated the disco show? One moment while I go fencing with my children. Yeah, there, uh, my daughter doesn't want to play with her tablet, and she's cranky, which is really annoying, and, uh, God, what else is going on? Um, not a lot, but she's bored and wants to be entertained. I'm like, hey, you got tons of stuff around here, find something to do. I don't want to play with my tablet anymore. Then don't. That's fine. Just find something to do. I'm busy. That's not good enough. So, when I'm done, maybe we'll play like checkers or something, or, you know, hang out. But it's, it's like when I'm doing this, I'm kind of busy. That's the problem. It's like generally, 
when they're both here, I don't even bother trying to review because it ends up being them like trying to strangle each other and me having to run away and come back and run away. Ay, 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 you know. If you have children, you know exactly what I'm trying to impart here is the fact that when you want to, when you need to do something, it's very difficult. Why do we have so many plastic forks all of a sudden? We don't need those. They're old enough. They can use the regular adult accoutrement of eating. They can do it. Yeah, I'm losing it. It's because I haven't gone out walking yet today. That really centers me. If I go, if I'm able to go out walking every day, I'm chill, I'm happy, I'm having a good time. If I can't go out walking, I'm a real pain in the butt. I'll be the first to say that. Get all irrational. I need my forest bathing. It's like I heard that term. My wife was dealing with like some chronic pain and uh, what was he, a rheumatologist. And he was saying, well, things that can work are like forest bathing, yoga, and all this stuff. It's just like planet are you from? Three tablespoons? That's we'll do two, one, two, one, two. There's, I probably should do one, two, one, two, one, two. That's probably about right. It probably could use a little bit more, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Because uh, I can't fill the tablespoon from where it's at. The water level, that is, so. All is well. Somebody's probably having a connection fit right now that any water was added. And if that's you, why don't you guys go get argued with by my kids? You people. Oh, one thing that's driving me nuts. People in my group, ramen junkies, with 70,000 like-minded instant noodle fans, won't stop saying stupid things. Oh my God, that'd be so good on my ramens. Or... Oh, you gotta try the mayonnaise hack. A hack, huh? It's like they never had any clue you could. Ooh, splash it. You could add stuff to instant noodles before somebody said, hey! My favorite, actually, my least favorite, is this one lady who said, I'm telling you, the best hack for ramen is to add an egg. I know it sounds gross, but. It's like <laughs> another one said never add cheese it's poor form while well, they were showing pictures of them putting like Lowry's seasoning salt and they had like a, a picture of the ramen that they made that looked like a train wreck and then they like I don't know I take this stuff way way seriously I mean I've done 4,000 reviews come on obviously I do but I, it, it's just like too much man come on there's such a wide variety of noodle enthusiasts out there but when when you when you pluralize ramen and call it ramen god that just makes me want to barf like, where did, where did you go to school? Did you go to school? I don't, I don't know. Somebody called my ramen bougie. It's like, are you trying to say bourgeoisie? Oh, that's a compliment. I mean, my, my ramen is just that fancy. I don't know. I don't think it's like... 
pretentiously fancy. I think it's just like I try to make it look nice and generally make it taste nice. But I don't consider that bougie. I don't. I just don't know what to do anymore with myself, ladies and gentlemen. It, it just drives me nuts. Just the sordid level of uh, ridiculousness of humanity. So we're going to have the humans put back in the box. I think that's a good idea. Okay. This bougie is fun. My bluey bougie bow Bougie 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 bougie. That's just too darn bougie. I'm not French either. And I'm actually going to do a mukbang of this because this looks really good. Carbo is short for carbonara, which means. Bacon. A cream of bacon. I don't know. I would make this with prosciutto. I guess that's too bougie. I don't know. I'm, I'm on a rant today. When the kids start acting up, I just don't know what to do with myself. Not bad. Try that out. Try that out. Thanks for watching the show. The next episode, you're going to see this Marishan uh, long name yakisoba, which comes with a broth. You take the sachet, you add it to 150 mils of water, and then you have a, like a sipping soup alongside a yakisoba. Sounds interesting. They're calling it like a fried rice yakisoba, which sounds, like I said, interesting. So that'll be on the next episode of... It's Noodle Recipe Time. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye-bye.